A day after the United States vetoed for the third time a draft U.N. Security Council resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza, displaced Palestinians are having trouble not just finding food, but also water. In the city of Rafah in southern Gaza, men, women, and children waited in long lines on the beach, holding empty bottles and jerry cans, hoping that on this occasion they would return with some water. Many mothers, uh, like Rehma al-Masri, uh, say they are unable to provide their children with the most basic of human needs. As you can see, this is a war of starvation. There's no water or food or anything. The lack of clean water and nutrition is also causing disease to spread. And Palestinians say that hepatitis A is now proliferating in displacement camps. Already in hospitals, it's being called the disease of the tents. Since October, the war there has displaced most of Gaza's 2.3 million people, and over a million of them are now living in UN shelters or in tents and cardboard boxes in the southernmost tip of the enclave, right up against the border with Egypt. About 1.5 million people are estimated to be crammed into the city of Rafah alone, most of them having fled their homes further north to escape Israel's military onslaught. They may be not safe from the bombings there for much longer, though. Israel expects to continue its full-scale military operations in Gaza for another six to eight weeks as it prepares to mount a ground invasion on the city of Rafah, the city where most of Gaza's civilian population is right now. This has been confirmed by four Israeli officials familiar with the strategy. The military chiefs say they will do this to significantly damage Hamas's remaining capabilities, paving the way for a shift to lower-intensity phase of targeted airstrikes and special forces operations.